and welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Liz Wade, and this is Adam Navis. Hi, Adam. Hello, Liz. How are you doing today, Adam? I'm doing fine, thank you. Well, that's good. Um, we are here to talk about something that um, some people just don't really want to talk about anyway, um, but some people love talking about, and that is yeah. money. Money, money, money. This is a yeah. uh, this is actually a very interesting um, conversation because around the world, people talk about money and feel comfortable talking about money at different levels. Yes, it's true. So um, if you are in the U.S., people do not really like talking about money. Well, and in, if, in, in vague terms, they do, but not about true. their own money. Like you would never, I would never ask you like, Adam, how much money do you make? Yeah, but in I other would... places, that's an okay question. Like it's, it doesn't... Right. Right, exactly. So, but we're not going to talk about that sort of stuff about money. We are going to talk about the history of money. So how did we get here where we exchange this paper uh, oh. for goods? Yeah, or, well, and maybe not or, even paper anymore. Yeah, or transfer numbers over the internet. Um, and so we are here to talk about the history of money. We hope you stick around. Um, if you would like to see this program as you read along because you haven't seen it yet, you can go to our website at www.spotlightenglish.com. You can also listen and follow along on YouTube if that's not where you're already watching us. Um, we'll also link that program in the little, little eye that's up here somewhere, and you can do that. And if you are on a podcast, of course, you can follow the link to visit our website or YouTube. If you are on YouTube, I really encourage you to check out the button below that says join and to become a member. You get a couple perks that way, and um, there are a couple different levels. You can get PDFs of scripts that you can always keep. You can mark them up and, and things like that. And of course, if you're on our website, you can also get our scripts delivered to you by email. Um, every Monday, the script comes, the link to the audio comes, and you have no excuses for great English practice. And each of those um, is, a, is a little bit of a different cost, but um, yeah, we think it's a great value and we think it's a great help. And we hear that it's a great help from uh, people who have done that. So if you're on YouTube, give us a like, uh, subscribe, hit the little bell so you never uh, miss any of our videos. And now let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Adam. <laughs> yeah. So I love this program because um, everyone uses money. That's right. right. It, and um, it's it's not just we use money, but we use money. Um, I don't say we don't think about money, but we just assume it's it's part of everyone's life. Right. And you think like, well, how did we get to this point where I, I have this little plastic card and I, I plug it into an ATM, a, a bank machine, yeah. and then it gives me like paper back. But yeah. Like, what and then you take like that paper broken or and you, you, know? you, you give it to someone and they give you. Yeah. food or they give you a it's piece weird. of clothing so so i love this program because it really tells us like how did we get here in a really quick and and simple yeah. version right um so this first kind of money that we had was not actually money it was like bartering so right. trading maybe so let's like talk about trade. bartering because people might not know what that word yeah. means it's let's it's say i've got a chicken and you want my chicken or I have left two chickens. You want my chicken. You might think of, uh, well, you might have something I want, right? Right. Like maybe I have uh, vegetables. Yeah. So I, I say. Have carrots and potatoes. I, and I they say would my chicken is worth, chicken. <laughs> my chicken is worth five potatoes or right. something like that. And we, we agree on a rate and we just, we trade. Yeah. Right. But that and wasn't. everybody kind of like, we, everybody has the things that they have, but they can barter them for other things right so that was the first sort of money right and that's right. different for every person all of those things are are different for different people right um and what happens if you don't have anything what happens if all of my potatoes and carrots like got drowned because there was a huge yeah. rain and there's none left yeah and you can't save your potatoes year after year 
right for a year when you you do have so there's obviously some problems with bartering so then we move on to proto money and this is things like like adam i have like this container of very beautiful shells Mm -hmm. i will give you four of my shells for your chicken right did you take that well i would have to know i mean sometimes i would think that they're they're beautiful and i might have value but I might also be able to take those shells and then travel to a different city and exchange them. Because I don't want to take my chickens. Every time I take my chickens on the road, yeah. they get sick and they're noisy. But if I can just terrible. take shells, then uh, and then I can exchange them for spices or something like that. I love this world we've created where, know, we're, so where we're bartering <laughs> shells, my chickens and your potatoes. Who knew? We're moving through history. We're moving through history program. together. Um <laughs> Yeah, so so then we've got this proto-money, and I think that lasts quite a long time, actually, um, because the first coins come in Egypt. Right. And that is, I guess, I mean, I don't know exactly how that came about, but maybe the Egyptians were like, you guys, these shells, like, they still break, but we can make metal into these little circles, and it's maybe, like, this metal that we, that not everybody can get, so... It has some value... It has some value. So, uh, yeah, let's make these coins. Right. And then the first person who's like, I want to put my face on a coin so that people are like, they always think of me, is Alexander the Great. Oh, man. Alexander the Great. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Well, it... that's maybe why he's called Alexander the Great. Right. Instead of like Alexander the OK. Maybe he was just Alex, and he's like, you know what? People don't know me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on the coin. Yeah, People exactly. He's claiming. like, yo, guys, I'm your leader. Right. So, which of course, a lot of people have used money as a way to celebrate people, whether they're kings or queens of leaders yes. of countries, or um, important people through history. Uh, have been featured on money, but obvi- I, I think most clearly um, because we should note that money uh, very quickly, once you start doing that, you, if I'm the leader of one country and I put my face on a coin and you're the leader of, you know, Lizardonia, uh, <laughs> you might not accept the money that I make. Right? I'm like, so, no, no, no. I only want money with my own face on Exactly. It. You want your money with your, your own face. So you make your coins, I make my coins. And of course, we know in the world there's lots of different kinds of money. Um, mm-hmm. You know, currencies. Each, many different countries have their own currency, which is the mm-hmm. value of the, the money that's used there. Right. So, so we go from these, we've got all these coins. And then um, I think that spreads to different places, right? We even have an example in the program about, uh, what is it, Queen Victoria? Who puts her uh, face? No, it's uh, Maria Theresa from, um, oh, where? Austria. Yes, thank you. Um, In Austria, and she puts her face on a coin, and it's even still used until 1924 in some places, which is pretty incredible. Um, So... But people are like hauling around these bags of coins. Right. They finally figured out how they're gonna, you know, use them in different systems mm-hmm. or or different countries. Um, but they're like, these coins, they're so heavy. Right, because Why they're made they of metal, and metal is a very heavy thing. A hundred pounds of metal. So they decide to make paper money. Yeah. Um, which I can see that's a lot easier to carry carry around, right? Right. Like a hundred, a uh, hundred bills, yeah, a hundred paper monies, right, um, are a lot lighter to carry right. than a hundred coins. Well, and this is where I think the idea of money gets really interesting because yes. you say, okay, we're going to take this heavy one dollar coin, and instead of traveling around with it, we're going to put it away, and instead we're going to take a, we're going to take a piece of paper like this. And yeah. say it represents one gold coin, for instance. Yeah. But then eventually people are like, you know what? We can just make more of these. Yeah. So let's just make more. And do we need to have coins? No. We're just going to make more. And we are simplifying economic theory. Oh, for sure. By But but also we're not. Like you just, people just do that. 
And we all agree we that all like agree. that pa- that piece of paper means that it is worth this much. Right. Okay, so Adam, then then we get to the point where we're like, okay, I don't actually want to keep all of my pieces of paper right. that are worth so much in right. my house or, you know, in my pockets. So yep. I'm going to store them in a bank. Yep. But then I want to be able to like give someone this money. Yeah. Without actually having to go to the bank. Right. So then now what I have is a check. And even right. this is old now, this right? Old. We Not, don't use people don't do yet. checks that much. Yeah. So I write I write and I say, um, this check is to Adam. It's for twenty dollars. And I sign my name on it. And then I give it to you. Right. And you go to your bank and you give that check to your bank, and your bank is like, Hey other bank, hey Liz's bank, we yep. need twenty dollars. And my bank gives it to your bank, and your bank gives it to you. Yeah. But then we go a step further, don't yeah. we? The next go step ahead. is the next step is well, I don't wanna have what if I don't have I ran out of checks and I don't know I don't have a pen with me and I don't have a stamp to put on an envelope to mail my check to you. I want to be able to go into a store and just make a decision right there. And so we get credit cards and bank cards that simply take all the that phone call of bank calling bank, put it in a computer. You plug it in, beep, boop, boop, pull it out or swipe it. I guess, I mean, there's been different ways of doing it, but it was just... Definitely always the beep, boop, boops. Beep, boop, boop. (laughs) Um, And and then you can just trans... Like, and obviously, if you're watching this today and you are probably under 25 years old, (laughs) you are sitting there thinking, who are these old people... (laughs) What's who, a check? What's That's a check? What Why would you send a piece of paper to someone? What, what's a stamp? <laughs> I've never sent a piece of mail in my life. Anyway, yeah, we we know that you're probably already you're you're watching this and you're already thinking about where we're gonna go in our conversation. Like you can tell right. we were gonna talk about credit cards and we're gonna talk about virtual currencies in a second. But just stay with us, stay with us, and keep watching this because it's it's fascinating about how people agree upon what's valuable and how this thing works or even how that transfer works like why can i pick up my phone and just like even over facebook send you five dollars right or over venmo or cash app or or that we have people who are watching this right now who are members of this this youtube channel and support this channel for a couple dollars but live on the other side of the world right how does that it's work? Amazing. I don't know. It is really amazing. Yeah. Um, this is uh, I, like you talked about like the whole like economic reasons for things earlier. Like that's not really how my brain works. <laughs> so like for me, it's all like, whoa, it's like this is all magic. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's really interesting. And of course, we have let's let's just move toward talking about Bitcoin yeah. and Ethereum and all these virtual currencies. Oh, sheesh. That yeah. Uh, is even a whole other layer of complexity. And we won't talk about wh- what virtual currencies are, but if you're watching this, I'm assuming you've heard of some of the big ones. We um, do, um, and not to interrupt you, Adam, yeah, but yeah, we yeah. do have a program about Bitcoin. That's right. So if you wanted to, if you're watching this and you are wondering like, what is Bitcoin anyway? Um, visit the link. I'll link it uh, in this video and in the description and you can go there and just get a really quick overview, a a quick summary of what Bitcoin is. So go ahead, Adam. So it is a, in my brain, it is a currency that is not associated with a country. It's not associated with uh, linked to any other thing like like gold or silver or some of the traditional things. and so, and there's, again, in, the, in that Bitcoin program, it talks about how it stays safe. But of course, there, there, it's, it's all what we, I mean, it, all of these things we're talking about is you agree there's value in this. I agree there's value in this. Yeah. And it's, a, it's, it's about efficiency in some ways, right? Like I don't have to carry my chickens and you don't have to carry your potatoes yeah. around. Finding new ways of being efficient. But when this happens, there's also problems as well. Like I know that virtual currencies have 
raised the level of kidnapping around the world. Oh, sheesh. I know, right? Let's not go there. But it does create problems yeah. as well. Well, even even access to it, right? Um, people who already have a lot of money are going to have better access to getting right. Bitcoin right. in the first place. Um, so it's theoretically accessible to everybody in the world, no. but it's not really. Do you have any Bitcoin, Liz? I don't. I don't either. I, I will say I have a neighbor who does a little Bitcoin um, and another neighbor who has done Bitcoin for a couple years. But for me, I just, it's, I don't know if it's too risky or if it's just like, I don't want to wade into something that I don't understand. Yeah, that's probably. But do, I just, I'm not, yeah, I don't have any. Do you? No. I mean, the closest thing we have is we have some, uh, retirement investments that we've tried to and i don't really understand those yeah <laughs> but those are a thing that seems safe or you just have to do i don't know yeah um so this is so let us know if you're if you are uh into virtual currencies or bitcoin put it in the comment below about if you think they're a good idea are they a good idea are they going to be around for a long time and uh, what what kind of Bitcoin or virtual currency do you think is is good? Please don't yeah. don't mark it if you're like trying to sell anyone on yeah, virtual yeah, currency. Yeah, we're not doing that. But just let I us know in the comments. Those comments, sorry. <laughs> but I would love to know because I know that our our listeners, our viewers, have a wide variety of interests. Like I know some of them must be economists. Yeah. So if you are someone who studies this, please, I love to learn. Um, I'd love to hear more about it in the comments or um, or whatever. So, yeah, feel free to leave us a comment or, um, you know, don't leave a comment like you guys are so old. Nobody knows yeah, what nobody a check is. It. We know. We know we're old. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that. But um, but yeah, I would love to hear what you have to think. Um, if you haven't seen this or seen or heard this program yet, the history of money, I really encourage you to go to our website. Again, it's www.spotlightenglish.com. You can check it out on our uh, YouTube channel as well and wherever you get your podcasts if you prefer just to listen. Um, and so until next time, we hope you listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out.